Hi, I'm Jake and I'm part of the 21st cohort of the Data School. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a stack bar chart. A stack bar chart is an excellent way to show comparisons between categories of data, but also has the ability to break down and compare parts of a whole. Let's jump into Tableau and get started. So for this example, I'm going to use Tableau's built-in sample superstore dataset. Let's firstly build a view of the top 10 states by profit. We can do this by dragging the state pill onto the row shelf, and then we can drag profit onto the columns. We can then sort this by clicking on the sort button here. We now have a view that sorts all the states by their profits, but we're only interested in the top 10 states. So let's go ahead and drag our states pill onto the filters card. Let's go ahead and click top by field. And we want to filter to the top 10 by the sum of profit. So let's click OK. And we're now left with the top 10 states by profit. Let's now go ahead and make this entire view. So now that we have the total profit for each of these states, we might want to break it down into different categories. For example, the ship modes. So let's go ahead and create a stacked bar chart by grabbing ship mode and dragging it onto color. So we now have a stack bar chart which breaks down the profit for each state by the different ship modes. Let's go ahead and add some labels so we can see the values for each ship mode for each state. So let's click on label and we want to show mark labels. So we can now see the value of the profit for each ship mode within each state. However, we can't see the total profit for each state. This is possible by creating a dual axis. So let's go ahead and do that. We first want to hit control and then click and then drag the sum of profit next to the original pill to duplicate it. Let's try that again. We can then hit the drop down on the duplicated pill and select dual axis. And let's remember to synchronize these axes. So to do this, we can right click on the axis and select synchronize axis. Let's go ahead and change the mark type back to bar. So we can select the all tab on the marks card and change the marks type to bar. So in order to add a label for the total profit, we can go to one of the two tabs and let's drag the ship mode off the color. So we're now left with a stack bar chart, which shows the, the value of the profit for each ship mode within a state, but also the total profit within that state. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you now feel confident to make a stack bar chart yourself. Please check the description of this video for any links to additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoy this video, you'll love Janna's video on how to build a divergent stack chart. Click the link on the screen to watch next. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more videos like these.